Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we're looking at the sun, the largest tropical storm system of the year so far, and three outstanding articles on space weather, magnetic sense, and solar forcing of human health. We're starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star, where the most eruptive event occurs top left. It's from over the limb on the far side. We did get one M-class flare this morning, but it was small and impulsive. Coronal hole solar wind should be arriving today if it's potent at our heliographic latitude. But it will be minor either way. And so the sunspots are where I'm focused, even with a relatively quiet stretch on our star. There are a ton of active regions and enough of the growing and morphing kind that we are going to have to be watching for more flares and eruptive behavior today. Let's go next to the tropics, and we're just off the coast of China, where the most powerful super typhoon of the year is raging and heading west towards landfall. It is slated to slide just south of Hong Kong, will make some pretty solid impacts there, and will make official landfall just to the west of it. This has the potential to cause major damage to about $75 billion in infrastructure and about 100 million people. Eyes on it. First up in the articles, we come to the time delay of solar flares and geomagnetic storms to earthly effects. They ranged from 35 to 86 seconds. This is part of the rapid forcing pathway, which is completely ignored in all climate models, magnetic crochet, and propagation of disruption, all in less than 90 seconds. Up next, we come to a confirmation of the cryptochrome sense mechanism of a magnetic field. Turns out that the molecule formation modulation is the key, with field strength determining amount and the direction determining placement within the cell. It's a good reminder of the subtle cellular impacts we should expect during the ongoing magnetic pole shift. Animals will be lost. Last but not least, excellent study on solar activity and oxygen availability. Many physiological impacts occur with changing oxygen levels, and these track solar storm activity very well. Unlike most studies, instead of correlating the sun with final medical outcomes, this one ties solar activity to a major environmental factor in health, which will be getting more extreme, by the way, as solar activity impact surges with a weakened magnetic field. Folks come out to Observer Ranch. Dr. August Dunning is coming in this week for the Founders event. We have a world-class prepper event to kick off October. Hoping to see a lot of you there. Colorado Prepper Expo the next weekend. I will be speaking at 1 o'clock on Saturday. The experience the weekend after that. Bring the kids for Halloween. We've got the ultimate self-defense training kicking off November. Observer speed dating the 7th and the 8th. Time to find that prepper princess or post-apocalyptic warlord. Documentary premiere mid-November and the last pole shift conference of the year the next day. We'll have a Thanksgiving and a solstice party as well. Come out and see us. ObserverRanch.com we greatly appreciate your support. I am going to try to go live around 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time tonight. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.